The NASCAR Drive for Diversity is a, uh, program is a leading youth development program in our industry. Uh, through the Academy style program led by Rev Racing CEO Max Siegel, who's here with us today, uh, NASCAR is committed to providing world class training, uh, competition experience, and mentoring to the young, diverse, and female up and coming drivers that are out there. The program has been instrumental in launching uh, it its participants to the, to the highest levels of competition in NASCAR. We've seen in 2014 the D4D program graduating its third driver to the National Series level with Daniel Suarez moving up to the NASCAR Xfinity Series, joining Darrell Wallace Jr. and 2014 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series Sunoco of the Year, a uh, Rookie of the Year, Kyle Larson. We made it as simple as we possibly could. That was goal number one. And you know, in any change that we would make, even if it were, were helpful and reasonably uh, easy to understand, it would still be something different. And, uh, and our view is, let's keep it exactly what we have it now. Let's li it's going to take you know a fair amount of time for you know even our avid fan base to really uh, to, to really uh, sort out. You know, uh, uh, you know the strategies necessary to compete. I'm excited to, to get to learn from these guys and get to race under the JGR banner for, for Toyota. It, uh, we had a great test at, at Charlotte, and I'm I'm really ready to go. I've been wearing my driver's suit a lot. I think that uh, the staff that JGR was able to hire in the off season. Uh, growing our team uh, by large, large numbers. A lot of the concerns that you have as a driver uh, when you bring on an extra team is that are you spreading yourself too thin? And I think that JGR has done a great job of hiring really good staff over this off season uh, to accommodate that fourth car. And, and it, for me, it, it makes me excited about the prospects of what uh, JGR has got in store for it this year. I'm very happy to, to be here this this year uh, with Jogi Racing. Uh, definitely uh, an awesome opportunity. Three years ago when I arrived here in the United States, uh, I didn't mention this a lot, but I was a big fan from Jogi Racing. And uh, three years later, uh, here we are. So I'm very thankful with uh, with everyone who, who has been support supporting me in my racing career. And hopefully we can we can you know learn and, and make something something good happen in this 2015. It's going to be pretty fun, really, uh, I think, being able to go out and run for a full season in the trucks and chase down a championship is something I've been looking forward to. And, and then on the Xfinity side, going out and be able to run 17 races and get more uh, seat time there is going to be pretty exciting, too. So just a, a fun year ahead. Uh, going to be busy in the seat, way more races than I've ever run before, and I uh, really can't wait to get going. I'm excited about the young guys getting a chance to come on board. I'm excited about our, our new people that have been brought on board at uh, Joe Gibbs Racing. And uh, it's a thrill that now to have our fourth car with Carl um, and Darian. It's going to be really exciting for us. You know, the start of the season is just around the corner. We all know it. But uh, to get back out there on the racetrack with a new crew chief, with Adam Stevens coming up from the Xfinity Series, and the relationship that we've grown there and the success that we've shared there has been um, obviously something that gives us a chance to go into this season with at least something that we know of each other's background and, um, and know how to work with one another. So the Cup Series is entirely different, but um, obviously just being back with M&Ms in the number 18 car and having Crispy on board this year, my favorite, and uh, it's going to be cool to, to see the M&Ms car running around there again with um, green this year instead of the traditional yellow. Just ready to get going, get racing, get through Daytona. Um, everybody always goes down there with the idea of trying to win the 500. Everybody loves going there. So looking forward to that, and then really looking forward to the next five or six races after that so we can kind of see where we're stacking up compared to our competition.